guys. Y'all know I always come with the looks. And y'all already know this is my favorite company. This is like my fourth collab with them. So y'all know the hair got to be good. The hair is real. Um, I didn't do an install this time on YouTube. But I want y'all to see like. And this thing. 16 inch transparent lace wig. This is my first time hearing of it. They gave me this exclusive. And I'm loving it. I see. You can follow them. Um, let me see here. They sent me a card. Because you know they the best. So. I see. Information. Hello. Send yeah. for yeah, my pops killer the sea. Yeah. Used to ride with some niggas that link with some niggas that I don't not no, fuck don't with. Fold. And you know I don't trust shit. Play with my family. No, I'm a pull up. Sugar girl pumped and I'm back with another motherfucking video. And I'm doing something different. Y'all know I always do hair tutorials and shit like that, but I haven't been doing that recently. Thank you for the build, my son. Okay. So I'm, I'm doing it CBD. Ah, y'all thought it was real weed. No, man, I'm no sir. Yeah, so. I'm going to do a get ready with me with a story time. And the story that I'm going to tell y'all, y'all ain't going to believe this shit happens to me because it really fucking happened. Okay, so let me see. I'm going a, I'm, I'm to a spark this a little bit first. Let me see what this smoking like. This a crackhead lighter. Let me see. Yeah. Let me see. Don't play with them. Okay, so. I'm going to smoke my little CBD. And Eat some milk. They got milk. I, I know. So y'all know last year I was in a relationship. Well, I was in two relationships, but I'm gonna talk about the second relationship I was in because the first one didn't really matter. But um, so I was in a relationship with a nigga. He was a hood nigga, whatever, like that, a rapper and a trapper. And I went through something I thought I'd never fucking experience in my fucking life. So true facts, I even had the shoes and the clothes. From when this incident happened, but I, I can't show y'all it's too exclusive. So let's get into the eyebrows if I can find my eyebrow shit. Let me see. So I was dating this boy. I I don't know if I should really say his name because like he got a like an image. And I don't want to destroy nobody's image, but I want to tell my story, you know? So I was dating this nigga or whatever, and I heard stories about him being crazy and shit, but, you know, bitch, he tried that with them other hoes, you know, I'm pumped to pee, so, boom, I should have knew it was something, though, because the way he was talking anyway, so, one day, like, I was arguing with him. I don't know what I was arguing with him about, but he was, like, so calm. And, like, I was with my friends. So I probably was trying to show out. You know how us bitches be showing out. So, he was, like, pull up. So, I'm, like, okay, like, this too, this too, this too cool. Like, I'm doing the most, and you too cool about, like, the situation. So, I tell my partner, I'm like, you want to pull up or whatever like that, whatever. She, yeah, I'm down or whatever. So, I'm like, okay, bet. I know he ain't going to try nothing. Well, I didn't think about him trying nothing stupid because, bitch, you not stupid, you know? So, as I was saying, you stupid, but you not that motherfucking stupid. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, okay, or whatever like that. So, remind you, I'm on the phone going off. You stupid, bitch, this and that. Because, y'all, his baby mama... Pulled up to my house the night before. So the nigga, he ended up, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to just have to tell y'all about the baby mama night. Then lead to that. So the baby mama, she, you know, caught herself popping up in my house and shit like oh that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And shit like that because she had got his location from when, like, I'm, I guess, like, when I dropped the pen or some shit. So, she had strolled up down his messages to, you know, get the address or whatever. So, boom. um, She called me. She was like, tell, tell Ro to come outside. So, I was like, 
Girl, he not here. Land got him, got him on speaker. Land on the nigga. So. Let me put this up. I'm sorry. I'm like, Tim roll on my side or whatever. So I'm like, bitch, roll not here or whatever. So she was like, girl, yes, he is. I see his car. I said, well, he must know somebody in these apartments. Because, bitch, I'm trying to get me some. You trying to ruin it. So she like, okay, well, just tell him when I see him, I'm going to stab him. And some other shit she was saying. I was like, oh, my God, they living dangerous. So she was still outside or whatever. So he was like, babe, you want me to go handle it? So I was like, yeah, go handle it or whatever. So he went outside. So y'all, they going in circles in my motherfucking apartment complex. Yeah. So, bitch, after the circle stopped, bitch, they exit the apartments. They speeding, speeding, bitch. I don't even know how they didn't get a speed ticket, how much they was speed. So I was like, okay, or whatever like that. So, bitch, the nigga left his gun. His work that he sell and um and everything like that. So bitch, remind you that shit was happening like, you know, like three or four o'clock in the morning. Bitch, the nigga ain't come the nigga ain't come back to the next day around eleven. So I felt some type of motherfucking way because y'all did all this. Sir, I'm not keeping you hostage. If you want to go to your baby mama house, you could have went to your baby mama house. So Get back. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like you so like I probably I called his phone on some trip shit. I did. I can honestly say that. And cause like bitch, you my nigga. You not finna embarrass me, you know? Cause like I was on the phone with my partner. I'm like, girl, oh my god, she oh she going in a circle. She just juke him. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So bitch, my friend probably was like, bitch, y'all nigga left, you know, to his baby mama. So, I'm like, okay, I'm not tripping because I'm not a trippy type of bitch. You know what I'm saying? As I was saying, he ain't come back to the next day. And I was like, you know, what the fuck? So, when I did talk to him, he came, when he when I did talk to him after he came to pick up his stuff, I was like, feeling some type of way because, bitch, you my mother, like, you know? So, I, I, I was saying some shit on the phone or whatever, whoop de -whoop. So, I guess he ain't like what I was saying. So, he was like, pull up. Daddy, you ain't say nothing but a word. So when I so I'm like, okay, I asked my partner did she wanna go. She was like, Yeah, we could go pull up or whatever. So girl, I'm, I'm getting ready or whatever. I ain't thinking nothing of y'all. Like, honestly, I'm not thinking nothing of I'm like, I'm finna pull up, you know, we finna talk about this shit in person. So like I pull up. He he come outside. I'm like, oh, it's for the oh my god, he come outside. Well he, you know, usually I, I'm coming in, so I'm like, you know, so he was like, on oh, some disrespectful shit, bitch, this bitch, that. I'm like, sir, what did I, what, what, you mad because I said you was with your baby mama? Like, what you so mad about right now? Like, what's the beef? What's the place? Like, come on, what's the, so he was like, um, bitch, I need, no, he was like, I need a bitch that's going to contribute to, to, um, to, you know, His drug business. I said, this what y'all, this what, this what, this, yeah, this, yeah, this what happened yet. So I was like, I can't do shit for a nigga that can't do a $10, give me a $10 ass movie. Something like that. So y'all, my life flashed before my motherfucking eyes. The nigga had yanked me. He closed the door. As he closed the door, when he closed the door, he had yanked me through the car window. So I'm like, bitch. So I'm like, okay, I know this not happening right now. Like, I'm just being bamboozled right now. So let me, you know, let me see if this really happening. So I get, so remind y'all, the door is closed. So I get out the motherfucking car. He's still holding on to the shirt. And, like, I had put, I, I got in a position where, I, like, his hand was, like, in the between the door. This is my shirt, the door, and then his hand. So, like, I'm pulling, I'm, I'm pulling my shirt, so it's hurting his hand. So, bitch, 
We just got the fucking fight. We got the fight, y'all. I don't know how I end up on the floor. I don't know how I end up on the ground. Y'all, when I say it looked like a murder scene in this, like, my pants was muddied up. My pants was so muddy. Um, my shoes was even dusty than a bitch. Like, them hoes was dusty, rusty. Um, no more good. Like, I couldn't even wear them bitches no more. Um, y'all, he snatched my fucking wig off. Like, literally snatched my wig off. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? Like, I know, I like, I heard stories or whatever like that. Like, but I never had experience the shit. So, y'all, like, honestly, like, my life, like, my, I, like, it happened so fast. Like, I heard of women fighting niggas and shit like that, but I never had to be in a position where I had to fight a nigga. Like, honestly, truly, I never been in that situation. So, I didn't even know how to truly handle it. Like, anywho, um, so, like, once, like, I got back up, he snatched my wig off and shit, and I'm like, bro, this nigga really doing this shit. And, like, I was kind of embarrassed, too, because I'm like, bro, my friend in the car, she didn't come help, but she did come break up the fight, but she didn't help. That hoe, that hoe ain't my partner no more, because, bitch, I can't even fuck with no shit like that. Like, bitch, if I see your nigga, like, if this some shit you and your nigga always do, then, okay, you know, but you know for damn sure this nigga don't do this, and you know for damn sure I don't go through this, so, you know, it should have been, like, my, like, bitch, you know, so... I get in the car or whatever like that. I, instantly, I want to cry. I'm not saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing at all. Like, I just want to cry because first of all, I'm so embarrassed. And I'm like, bro, I can't believe this nigga really did this shit to me. Like, like you know, I, I ain't want to involve nobody because he like he like to play with guns. He, he you know, they, they he a street nigga. So, I didn't want to really get nobody involved because, like, it ain't worth nobody losing their life over. But, you know, don't put your hands on nobody's child, you know? So... Um, so I was kind of mad at her. Like, I know a lot of y'all gonna say, you know, it's not her place or whatever, but it is if you know your friend don't go through no shit like that. Because, like, if I know for sure you don't go through that, I'm not gonna let you go through that. So, um, I was kind of hurt. My feelings was hurt. Like, I didn't cry, the, you know, cry. I probably cried when I got home. I had a big old mark on my arm or whatever. Um, because, like, the shirt was so thick, it kind of gave me, like, something like a carpet burn. Because it, the shirt didn't break or anything. It was just still rubbing against my skin. So, what oh, is she good? So, um, months went by. That happened in, like, July. So, I believe, no, that happened, like, yeah, that happened, like, in July. So, I had stopped talking to him for a while. Um... And we end up, he ended up texting me and was like, I love you or whatever like that. And I was like, what the fuck? So, like, he was like, pull up on me and shit like that. So, when I pulled up on him, finally, after like a month and some days, a month or so, um, he was saying, like, you know, I was in my feelings. He basically said I was in, like, I, me, me, I was in my feelings about the situation and shit like that. I'm like, sir, how the fuck I'm in my feelings about you putting your hands on me? Like, that don't even make sense. Like, of course, like, I'm going to be in my feelings because, like, what the fuck? Like, nigga, you say you love me, but how you love me and you? You know, so. Uh, so, we was talking for some months. We was talking for some months or whatever. And um, we didn't get back together. We didn't get back in a relationship. But, like, he felt like I was supposed to jump for him. So, like, say if I'm at the club. If I'm at the club. He want me to leave whoever I'm at the club with and come hurry up and jump to him. Which wasn't going to fucking happen because, like, nigga, you not my nigga. And, bitch, you don't run shit. Like, you don't run a motherfucking thing. Like, y'all, I, I even got text messages and everything still. Like, when he get mad because he tell me to come and I ain't hurry up and come or some shit like that. So, um, I didn't get back with him. So, the girl that I wasn't cool with no more... Okay, y'all, it's a lot. I went to one of his shows. This was back in October. So, I went to one of his shows, and the show had niggas that I knew. Not nobody that I was fucking with or nothing. So, 
he felt as if oh uh, he felt as if like since he in a building I can't fuck with no other nigga I can't hug no nigga I can't do nothing with no nigga because he there which you got me fucked up if I got boy partners I got boy partners as long as I'm not disrespecting you remind you y'all we not even together at this point like we not even together so if I am fucking with another nigga or whatever the case may be you can't get mad at so it was me and Belsie we went to go support him why when we walk in the place his baby mama there so I'm like okay you still you still putting me in fucked up you know situations which situations I shouldn't even be in so Anywho, so the night kept going. The night he performed and shit like that. So by the time after he got performing, we went outside. So it was an altercation at the club. And we was happened to be outside when the altercation started in the club. And it ended out, you know, it, they came outside with the, like, you know, with the drama. So we wasn't in the drama or nothing. But a nigga was like, you know, grab the MK purse. So we like, Chelsea like, Deja, come on, bro. Like, you know, come on. So we end up like crawling to the car because by the time we go into the car, they already shooting, they already busting. So, bitch, remind y'all, we scared. One of my shoes outside hanging out the door because, like, I couldn't even close the door good enough. So I just kicked the shoe off and hurry up and close the door. So we dug down. We got down like this. Like, we got down or whatever, like that. Like, we like, what the fuck, what the fuck. So. And people start screaming, crying, or whatever like that. So we like, what the fuck, what the fuck? So two people died that night. Let's not forget that. Two people died that night. Um I went to his house. Right, y'all, it's like five, six o'clock at this point in the morning. So y'all, I had a little smoke break. So, oh, I don't know. Y'all can see me? Okay, so. This is the part I need to relax on. So, I'm like, you know. Okay. It burned me a little bit. Okay, so. That shit hurt. I thought I was back in um, time one. So. My, my train of thought got fucked up. So, um, it was six o'clock in the morning, or five, six o'clock in the morning when I went over there, or whatever, like this. So, when I go over there, I'm trying to make sure he good because, y'all, his whole back windshield or whatever window was a shot out. He had bullets from the roof to the to his floor, like. His car was shot up. Like, it was so shot up. So, you know, me being your bitch, ex-bitch, I never whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was, the, you know, so, y'all, the nigga wasn't even talking to me. He was not talking to me. He was mad because his partner was touching me in the club. Sir, we could have been dead and gone right now. You worried about your partner touching me? So... A couple of days before me and Neil signed him, um, we was getting into it bad. Like, when I say we was getting into it bad, we was getting into it bad. Like, and, um, he was like, you know, telling me, yeah, my baby mama gonna be straight. Um, yeah, I'm finna sign, bitch, you gonna be still. Like, y'all, he was sending me some rude ass messages. He was doing the most, and I was just like... I don't even care no more. Like, I don't want this no more. I don't want to fuck with you. I hope you don't want to fuck with me. Like, it was just too much. And so, like, I, I wish him nothing. Like, I told him, like, I wish you nothing but the best. Congratulations or whatever like that. But I can't do this no more. Like, every time he feel like he want to disrespect me, he he could disrespect me. And we get back good. We get back together. No, that's not happening. It's, it's not working. So, y'all, that concludes the story of me and Ro. Um, young bro, the one y'all fucking love. Um, I'm proud of him or whatever, but I can never love him. I can never fuck with him. I can never just be on the same level again because that shit was out of line. Embarrassed. Just, I never want to be in a situation like that.
again. I will never want to fuck with a nigga like that again. Um, this is my first get ready with me. I did step by step. I probably skipped some shit with you bitches, but it doesn't matter. Y'all gonna, you know, go ahead, like, subscribe, follow my new Instagram. I don't even understand. Gorgeous Punta with four fucking A's. It's not hard. Damn, just help your girl out.